Buckle up, citizenship seekers. Welcome to Citizen TV USA, where we turn the mundane into the extraordinary. Today, we're diving headfirst into the heart of the U.S. Citizenship Naturalization Interview. Get ready for an immersive experience as we decode the secrets, demystify the process, and sprinkle in some surprise twists along the way. Hold on tight, hit that subscribe button, and join the citizenship revolution on Citizen TV USA, where your journey to becoming a U.S. citizen becomes an adventure like no other. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from Citizen TV USA. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your appointment letter and ID, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have your green card with you? Yes, I do. Here it is. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Here are your appointment letter and your ID, and here is your waiting number as well. Thank you. Please have a seat, we will call your name or your number when your appointment is ready. Thank you again. You are most welcome. Julia Ella Charlotte Yes, it's me. Hi Julia, I'm Immigration Officer Daniel Mitchell. And I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing well too, thank you. Please come in and remain standing. You can place your belongings next to the chair. Thank you. Before we start the interview, I'm going to place you under oath. Could you please raise your right hand? Sure. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please take a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. How was your journey to this location? The journey to this location was smooth with no significant issues or delays. That's great. Did you engage in any enjoyable activities over the weekend? Not really. I was preparing for this interview. All right, do you have any questions before we start the interview? No. Can I have your appointment notice, your green card, and state issued ID such as a driver's license and your passport? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Officer, I regret to inform you that my passport expired last month. Will this pose any issue? That's not a problem as long as you're not traveling anywhere soon. 
Now tell me, what is the purpose of your U.S. citizenship interview? The purpose of my citizenship interview is to demonstrate my eligibility and commitment to becoming a U.S. citizen. Why do you want to be an American citizen? I would like to apply for government jobs, register to vote, and travel without the restrictions. That's great. When did you become a lawful permanent resident? October 10, 2018. How did you get your green card? By Diversity Visa Program. All right. Now I will review your application form to make sure everything is correct. What is your current legal name? Julia Ella Charlotte. Is Ella your middle name? Yes. What is your first name? Julia. How do you spell your last name? C-H-A-R-L-O-T-T-E Have you used any other name since you got your green card? No, I haven't used any other name. Some people change their name when they become U.S. citizen. So would you like to change your current name? I do not want to change my name. What is your date of birth? November 21, 1998. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? I am 5'3 and 115 pounds. What is your country of birth? France. What is your country of citizenship or nationality? France. Can you confirm your social security number? 307-523-751 Do you have a job currently? Yes, I do. What is your job? I am an operations event manager. Who is your current employer? Red Bull New York. Where can it be found? Harrison, New Jersey 07029. How long have you been working there? Since August 2019. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? No, that's it. What is the best phone number to reach you at? 373-795-5390 What is your current mailing address? 291 North Laurel Street, Bridgeton, New Jersey 08302 So we will use that mailing address to contact you throughout the naturalization process. Yes. Have you moved in the past three months? No. How long have you been living there? I've been living there since 2021. What is your previous address? 126 South 4th Street, Millville, New Jersey 08332. When did you move from this previous address? On the first week of June 2021. All right. What is your current marital status? Married. How many times have you been married? 
I have been married twice. On what date did you wed your current spouse? I married my current spouse on the 9th of March 2020. Where did you get married? Hudson House, Jersey City, New Jersey. Can I see your original marriage certificate, please? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. What is your current spouse's legal name? John Smith. What is your current spouse's date of birth? March 19, 1991. What is your current spouse's current address? My spouse's current address is the same as my current address. Is your current spouse a U.S. citizen? Yes. He is a U.S. citizen by born. Where did you get your previous married? Toulouse, France. How did the previous marriage conclude? The previous marriage concluded harmoniously with mutual understanding. Well, do you have your divorce decree with you? Yeah, I do have it. Can I see it? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What is your current spouse's current job? He is a software engineer at XYZ Tech. All right, how many children do you have? I have a daughter with my current spouse. Great, she was born in the United States, correct? Correct. Can I have her birth certificate? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No, we don't. Do you have any children with your ex-husband? No. All right. Have any of your trips outside the United States been long longer than six months? No. All right. Have you taken any trip outside the United States in the last five years? Yes, I have gone on a few trips. Where and when was the last trip? Traveled to Canada in October 2022. We just spent one week there. What was the purpose of your last trip? Celebrated my birthday with my husband. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Yes, we did enjoy it a lot. Are one or both of your parents a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local elections in the United States? No, never. Have you ever called yourself a non-US resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, never. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, never. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is public benefit? 
welfare like food stamps, housing, education, health care. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No, officer. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or a soldier in a prison or jail? No, officer. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, never. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No, I don't. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No, never. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No, never. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No, never. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No, never. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with any other totalitarian party? No, never. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No, never. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Do you know what Oath of Allegiance to the United States means? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Great. Now let's start the civics test. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready but little bit nervous. Have you studied? 
Yes, I studied since I've applied. What version of the civics test did you study? I studied the 100 official civics questions 2008 version. That's the correct one. So, are you ready for the test? Yes, I am ready for the test. Do you have any questions before we start? No. All right. I'll ask up to 10 questions and you pass if you can give 6 correct answers. And you can just provide one answer. Please say the answers loudly for me. First questions. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diplomat. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Sorry, that's not correct. Let's try another question. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. When must all men register for the selective service? Between 18 and 26. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because they didn't have self-government. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. Well, you got more than six questions correct, so you passed the civics test portion. Thank you. Now we're going to do the English reading and writing tests. I'm going to show you a sentence on the tablet and I want you to read it back to me. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. What city was the first capital of the United States? Great. Now listen carefully to this sentence that I'll say. And write it down on the digital tablet in front of you using the stylist pen. Okay. New York City was the first capital of the United States. Can you repeat it one more time for me, please? New York City was the first capital of the United States. Excellent. Thank you. Congratulations. You passed your naturalization interview. Thank you, officer. Now please review the application on the tablet. And make sure if your information is correct, then please sign the last page. Yes, officer, everything is correct. I also need you to sign the Oath of Allegiance section. Please read it carefully before you sign. 
we will send you a notice for the oath ceremony within a month. You still have an important step that needs to be done to become a U.S. citizen. Make sure you attend the oath ceremony as scheduled. You'll probably receive it in three weeks. Do you have any questions at this point? No, officer. Thank you. You are most welcome. Let me walk you back to the customer service area. Have a good day. Thank you again, officer. Goodbye.